giant super university. There are past experiences to be learned, new experiences, new events, new inventions. Let me share with you about my recent close encounter with the silent killer. Recently, I did a few videos about my fatigue syndromes and my body aches, and also videos about how I got around to it with exercising, juicing, and also drinking herbal tea. Well, that did very well. But then, things happen in life. Because of my age, on 29th May, I woke up with a severe headache, neck pain, and chest pain. And by the afternoon, the pain was so severe that even painkiller did not work. And this time, it spread it down to my left arm. And I was pretty concerned. So I checked myself into the hospital. And the first thing the hospital suspected was it could have been a heart attack. They put me on ECG, blood test. And I was made to lie down. The result was okay. There was no symptoms of heart attack. And the blood test shows my cholesterol was low at 166, which, which is a very healthy level. And there are no other indications in the blood test that show that I was having a heart attack. I was warded for observation. The next morning, I had a CT scan and also angiotomography. Both show there are multiple blockages. The treadmill test showed there was stress. I was given medication and discharged to await for further decision by the doctor. I was admitted on the 29th for the angiogram. There were two quite serious blockages. There was a 70% blockage and the other one was 90%. decided that two stents should be inserted. The procedure went on for one and a half hours. I was put into ICU for observation. The following day I was discharged. Now I'm feeling normal. And here I am, back to my normal self, sharing my experience with you. Cheers. <laughs>